Welcome to the .NET Monthly Roundup for July 2024. I'm John Galloway, and I'll bring you all the highlights in just three minutes. All right, we'll start with .NET releases and updates. We've got .NET 6 Preview 6 out. Kind of a grab bag across a lot of different things. Performance, uh, we've got some things on code generation. I'm definitely keeping an eye on static web assets for ASP.NET. There's also a GitHub discussion, uh, so you can comment on it there as well. Uh, we have a nice post from Kathleen on C Sharp 13, taking a look at some of the different features, including uh, params collection enhancements, um, lock objects, some other nice things there. Uh, on the other end of the spectrum, .NET 6 is going to be out of support in November. So this post kind of wraps up what's going on there and uh, gives you some great links for how to upgrade to .NET 8 latest LTS. Okay, we've got an exciting release of .NET Aspire. This is uh, Aspire 8.1. Lots of great stuff in here. Support for Dockerfile. There's Python support. There's all kinds of great stuff in here. So definitely check out this blog post. Also in Aspire news, we have the .NET Aspire Developers Day. So that's where .NET uh, Aspire 8.1 was announced. Uh, that's in the keynote. There's a lot of other great stuff here, kind of going deeper, as well as uh, some sessions from partners who are also developing uh, components and things for .NET Aspire. Uh, we've got a, a full playlist where you can watch all those individual sessions out on YouTube. Okay, we've got just a fun little update here for F Sharp Interactive. This adds interactive documentation into F Sharp Interactive, so that's nice. Uh, announcement from Core WCF and WCF. This is client support for Azure Q Storage, so that's binding support for those. Uh, nice two part series from Frank here on GraphQL. So the first post is just how to use GraphQL in .NET. And the second talks about uh, using it with Blazor Quick Grid. So nice kind of walk through here on how to get that all set up. Lots of great code and uh, just overall highly recommend this series. Uh, nice post from Rachel going in depth into creating native interop bindings for .NET MAUI. So this is, you know, hands-on showing what to bind, how to do it, and then uh, showing how to use that with a specific example for charts. And then finally, coming up in August, we have .NET Conf uh, Focus on AI. So you're definitely not going to want to miss that. That's August 20. That wraps it up for this month. All the links are in the description below.